My name is Kurt Jensen, and I'm a certified technical expert at Hank Greff Chevrolet in Davidson. The video you're about to view should give you a thorough explanation of how things work. I personally viewed it myself and found it to be very informative. Enjoy! There are two ways to charge the Spark EV, with a third option becoming available just around the corner. The Spark EV can be charged with a household style electric outlet with the onboard 120 volt charger. When using this method, the Spark EV can be charged from empty to full in about 20 hours. The Spark EV can also be charged with a 240 volt charger. When using a 240 volt charging station, a Spark EV can be charged from empty to full in about seven hours. In order to bring more efficient charging ability to Spark EV, Chevrolet has partnered with SPX Bosch, who sell and install 240 volt chargers. Visit the SPX Bosch website at pluginnow.com forward slash residential for complete information about the charger installation process along with the typical installation costs. Once the vehicle is plugged in, owners can schedule either immediate or delayed charges, even coordinating charging according to departure time or when electricity rates are lower. Owners also can manage and monitor the Spark EV remotely via computer on OnStar.com or through the OnStar Remote Link mobile app. In late summer 2013, a DC fast charge option becomes available on all models. This fast charge option takes advantage of public charging stations that have fast charge capability. Using a 50 kilowatt fast charger, Spark EV can be charged from empty to about 80% charge in just 20 minutes, about the same amount of time it takes to order and drink a coffee. This enables Spark EV owners to continue their travels with minimal disruptions. Unlike some competitors, the fast charge process can be completed multiple times a day without any negative effects on the battery. The infrastructure for fast charging capability is still under development, but Spark EV is ready for the future. When the fast charge option comes online, a remote stop charge feature will also be incorporated into the key fob that lets owners remotely stop the charging process if desired. It's also worth noting that all three charging methods utilize a common charging receptacle located on the driver's side front fender. I hope that video presentation is a confident on how to operate your personal car technology. If you have any questions, please contact me by phone, email, or at my website, www.graphguru.com. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.